the duck pen because I've been working over there this morning and we've got storms which you can't really tell uh, not at this angle let's see that's coming at us and it's Thursday preparation day pre-preparation day. <laughs> I'm getting ready to prepare for tomorrow. Hi, duckies. Let's go see. <laughs> The ducks are molting. <laughs> there are feathers all over the desert. And now we're going to look and see what I did out here because I worked both sides. So far. work I need to do. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> okay guys, y'all have a good morning. <sighs> so, I have to clear out my stock tank because I got things sitting down in there and it just keeps raining. However, the tarps that I've ordered to cover everything up won't be here until next week. So I keep talking myself out of going over there because I'm like, what's the point? Everything's going to get wet anyway. But before I go to the store, because that's why I call it preparation day, is because it's go to store day and I have run out of provisions and speaking of that I should also let you know the reason I don't know why it took me so long for this to click 
but they took away my EBT because, you know, there's not a pandemic anymore. And so I've have been having to pay for, hey, buddy, I'm right here. So I've been paying for all my groceries with my regular money. No wonder I was running short. <laughs> but now that I figured it out, I'm okay. I just had to rethink things a little bit. So today I'm going to go and get supplies. Hey y'all. Yeah. Me and Buddy went to the store and it's the first time I've been out in a week. And I told you about all the monsoon rains. And my road is entirely different now. And this part especially. Closer into town, it's a little more maintained. But out here, I've gone through some washes. <laughs> And it has rained enough that it has moved the desert. There were a couple of places I went through that were scary, a little scary. Not horrible scary, just a little deep in sand. But I know, oh, I know how to do that. Oh, big ones, oh, 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 oh. It's the last, right at the last mile. Um, well, technically it's the middle mile. The last mile is always a mess. <laughs> it's not much different. Um, the ruts are deeper, the holes are deeper. Oh, big wash. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna try to show you what it looks like while I'm crossing over. <laughs> anywhere in the store. 
Here, I'll show you what I'm driving through. over the wash. Oh my goodness. I wound up having to go back and forth between stores uh, thinking one would have it and, and they didn't. It was just poor slim pickings. Slim pickings, let me tell you. Um, but I've done it. And my check engine light, which is, I don't know if y'all know this, my Bob had put in a new engine in my truck in like November before he passed. And we never got to test the engine. We never got to drive it. I never even got the first oil change on it before he passed. And so what is happening is, my understanding is my computer is still adjusting. And when I do something weird, like put in bad gas, it really, it yells at me. And what happens, the check engine light comes on and then nothing else happens. All my gauges are fine. And then I get home, turn off the truck, and most of the time, it's off when I get back to starting it. Today, it was not. It stayed on. So, when I came out of one of the stores and was finished, um, check engine light is off. So, apparently, it has adjusted and all my gauges are good and I need both hands on the wheel. <gasps> I love y'all. This is Betty coming to you from the Arizona desert. <laughs> I love y'all. When the trouble comes and it will 